End Time Timeline Behold, He is coming with clouds, and every eye will see Him, even they who pierced Him. And all the tribes of the earth will mourn because of Him. Even so, Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Is the end of the world here? Are world events, the land war in Europe or worldwide pestilence, proof the end is near? Or are they the beginning of sorrows? The book of Revelation reveals what will happen in the end time. The shocking events that will rapidly devastate the earth during the final seven years of the earth's existence. About the book of Revelation, John said, Blessed is he who reads and those who hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written in it, for the time is near. In our opinion, the following list of events are what John predicted. Part 1. Just before the end time begins. The apostasy comes first, before the end time week of seven years. The apostasy takes away the daily sacrifice by Christendom to the true Christ, starting the end time seven year week. God's restraint on satanic deception is removed. As Satan and Nephilim haven't appeared physically on earth since the flood of Noah's day, one restraint has prevented the physical appearance of the Nephilim fallen ones on earth. Jesus implied that when he said the end time will be just like the days of Noah, that is when angels left their heavenly dimension and appeared on earth. They took as many human wives as they wanted, siring many hybrid angel-human children. Only physical beings could do that. First half of seven years, the beginning of sorrows. When the first seal is opened, the first half of the end time week begins. The first rider on a white horse is the false Christ, AKA man of sin, lawless one. Daily sacrifice to Christ ends when church receives man of sin as the Christ. First trumpet. Hail and fire mixed with blood signified judgment for apostasy, the third of Christendom's leaders, and all of their followers eternally destroyed. An angel takes fire from God's altar and casts it to the earth, signifying this is a judgment of God against an apostate church. Second trumpet. The second angel sounded, and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea and a third of the sea became blood. The destroying mountain is the new king of Babylon, the false Christ, who leads the church into further apostasy, and the world into worship of the dragon, killing another third of Christendom. False Christ, man of sin, makes Jerusalem his base of operations. God's two witnesses, Moses and Elijah, appear, preaching in Jerusalem, 1260 days, restoring hearts back to God. Now a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a garland of 12 stars. She signifies the new Jerusalem, the mother of us all, who are born of God. What affects her on earth affects the people of God. So Lady Zion signifies the true church who will flee in the wilderness for 1,260 days, separating herself from the apostates. Holy Spirit poured out on church. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. 144,000 Israelites born again, specially tasked with evangelizing Jews. Satan, the serpent, spews out river of demonic activity, the energia of Satan, hoping to carry away the church into idolatry. But the apostates trampling the outer courtyard greedily swallow up the foul water. Seal 2, rider on red horse, wars and rumors of wars. 
God is not sending these demon riders. Satan is. People hate each other for differences of opinion. By overwhelming the earth with war, famine, and plague, the earth will cry out for a savior. The false Christ, and then the dragon, and his promise of global peace and safety. Seal 3, Rider on Black Horse, equals death from famine, often caused by earthquakes. Seal 4, Rider on Pale Horse, equals pestilence, often caused by earthquakes. War in Heaven, Michael and angels cast Satan and Nephilim fallen angels out of heaven to the earth. Satan and angels appear on earth as frog-like extraterrestrials led by dragon Satan claiming to be the Elohim designers of life on earth. Ancient alien theory is the inspired big lie that is used to unite the world against Christ at Armageddon. Satan blasphemes Yahweh God as jealous extraterrestrial who does not want humans to progress in knowledge and achieve immortality. Satan promises peace and safety from wars, famines, and pestilence plaguing the earth, an extinction-level event. Third trumpet, the arrival of the Dragon Commander and his UFO fleet caused global acceptance of ancient alien theory, spiritually killing the last third of Christendom eternally. The third angel sounded, and a great star fell from heaven, burning like a torch. And it fell on a third of the rivers, and on the springs of water. Satan is the burning star that poisoned the rivers and springs of the church with damnable lies and apostasies that kill all who drink them in. Miracle-working false Christ man who condones every sin and lawlessness subtly adopts ancient alien theory preached by Satan denying the Father and the Son. Globalist ecstasy. Dragon, Elohim, demand new world order. Seven head, ten horn, revived Grecian Roman Empire. They backed election of man of sin, false Christ, Adonicum, as its chancellor. Revived Grecian Roman Empire arises from the sea, symbolizing the realm of the dragon to become the new world order and the man of sin, false Christ, is its chancellor. Times and law of human society changes as global belief in God vanishes. All the world's religions join the new world order. Mother of harlots Babylon the Great rides Grecian Empire beast. Fourth trumpet, one third of sun, moon, stars, darkened, signifying horrific calamity will befall the third of the earth that is apostate Christendom. Lady Zion flees into religious Babylon for political and legal protection against haters of the true Christian church. Ancient literal city of Babylon has its head wound healed and is rebuilt using wondrous alien technology to become capital of seven head, ten horn beast empire. Five months before midweek begins. Fifth trumpet. Bioship locusts possessed by spirits of demons are released from abyss to torment apostates who want to follow the false Christ as he morphs into the son of destruction beast, but are too slow to commit within the time allotted. So they are tormented for five months until they completely reveal themselves. With this, the first half of the end times seven year period ends. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video where the second half of the end times week begins. We will be revealing the mysteries that intrigue us all, the tribulation of the church, the 666 mark membership only economy, Star Wars, the bowls of God's wrath, the second coming of Christ, and so much more. We've only just begun. If you want to learn more about these events, you can check out my site, www.endtimenews.net. There you'll find an extended commentary, notes, 
Bible references, and plenty of additional information and posts. So check it out.